All right, some of you have asked about the controllers I use for um, the carts, and in this video, I'm going to give you an overview of the controllers that I use and where to find them. So this is a, a 200 volt controller. It's uh, basically uh, zero to 200 volt. Um, so I use this even for uh, my low voltage carts, uh, even though it's only 300 amp or 200 amp continuous. Uh, it does still function okay with even the low voltage carts, um, like the 36 or maybe even like 48 volt. Um, but this is what I've used for my high voltage carts, and I've yet to get a cart up to the 200 volt or 144 volt setup, but uh, we'll get there eventually. Um, I probably need to order more batteries for that. But um, that's, that's uh, what we use for that. I also have a bunch of, uh, um, also let me show you um, what happens when you do uh, a few too many peak current launches with, uh, with none of the uh, acceleration and uh, current limit pots tuned back a little bit. Um, I did uh, probably like seven peak current launches and this will do like 300 amps for I think 15 seconds um, or uh, and then it'll drop down to 200 amps continuous until it, it um, resets that peak current but um, I was doing uh, wheelie after wheelie and I think we did like seven wheelies with this speed controller um, and the, the uh, breaker that I had before this uh, I basically I found out that it was overpowered so before the breaker tripped and before basically before my fuse blew my speed controller popped so my speed controller became the fuse so I'm now using 50 amp breakers because I found out those breakers um, can handle peak currents uh, for pretty substantial amounts of time so I'm trying the 50 amp fuse um, and then we have these controllers that I have a bunch of, but I've had some issues with them, uh, mostly uh, in, in combination with these pedals that I use. I know they're cheap Chinese pedals, but I honestly have a really hard time finding anything else um, to use. So they work, they function well, but with these controllers, I end up getting uh, I don't know, like a 10% uh, or 5% throttle signal, even when the pedal's not pushed. And I don't get that on these. Um, I've not tried to come up with a solution. There probably is a solution. Um, but we'll, we'll, uh, we'll figure that out when we get there. I may just end up using these for something else. So that's, that's the controller overview that I use. I, I've, uh, I, I kind of steer away from the, the golf cart controllers just because, because I like the ability to go up to 200 volt. Um, and that's a lot easier to do nowadays with uh, lithium and seriesing small, smaller cells. So um, I'll show you on the computer now where I get these controllers from. All right, so here's the, here they are on eBay. And you can see uh, this is the exact controller I was just showing you, 200 volt, 300 amp, and that's just the peak current, it's 200 amp continuous, and you can read all of that in the description. Um, but what I want to, and, and I'll probably share, you, share with you the link to the two controllers I have on uh, in the description if you want to check that out. Um, but I'll also share with you the seller. So this is the seller. And it's uh, Power Solutions uh, HU, I think stands for Hungry. So the guys from, uh, the, the, the person you buy, I buy these from are from Hungry and actually has a lot of different options for controllers. <clears throat> Some lower voltage, higher amp ones. I have, he has one that uh, is really similar to the one I have, but it only goes up to 100 volt and it goes up to 500 amps. For the peak so show you a couple more of these items and then i'll, I'll share with you the so here's the 500 amp 100 volt one <clears throat> which works also really well i have this in another cart um sitting in the yard that somebody already bought but they 
it's still sitting in my yard. Um, and then these would be the ones, the other ones that I have that are uh, 100 amp continuous, 100 volt, and they do work okay, but um, more on the higher voltage end. Um, if, if you're gonna put them in a cart, then the cart better be pretty lightweight. Um, so probably up to the 72 volt, uh, as close to the 100 volt as you can get uh, to use those with a golf cart. So he has some uh, some other ones like the 600 amp and lower voltage ones, which would work really good for uh, just your standard golf cart that has to drag around lead acid batteries and some other options. So lots lots of different options and and really uh, really some good stuff there um, for you to be able to pick what you need for your use case. And um, some of them come mounted with heat sinks and some of them you have to mount the heat sink on them uh, so hopefully hopefully that helps out um, and it doesn't look like they have a lot left <laughs> of uh, these controllers so hopefully he keeps making these because they're really cool controllers